Jimmy, we're going to do a show about Kubernetes security. Why are we doing this? Like, why do we need to do a show about security for Kubernetes? Kubernetes powers everything these days. It's one of the fastest growing infrastructure platforms, and you can find it everywhere. And there's a lot of security risks involved. Where does Kubernetes fit in an overall security program? Kubernetes naturally falls under cloud security in a lot of organizations. We give it some attention, but probably not enough these days. And that's what we're going to be talking about. First discussion was, oh, we want to go to cloud. Now we got to talk about cloud security. And now we want to do Kubernetes. Now we need to talk about Kubernetes security. Are we just essentially the next evolutionary step of this? The word cloud uh, equals Kubernetes. And we've seen such a huge boom in the kind of CNCF ecosystem uh, that combined with self-service developers wanting to move fast and ship their own software. And Kubernetes is the natural tool of choice. We like to call it a data center inside of your data center. It's responsible for a lot of things. Explain to me sort of the the areas that we need to sort of address in this discussion. Kubernetes uh, is somewhat volatile. Uh, If you really look under the hood, how often workloads are um, appearing, disappearing, changing, um, being revised, being removed. We're also going to talk about some of the different components that make up Kubernetes security, right? Networking, secrets management, role-based access control. Um, I was the author of the OWASP top 10 for Kubernetes, uh, and a lot of that is outlined there. We'll probably start start our uh, conversation with some of that top 10. Yeah, actually the OWASP top 10 just for cloud applications and Kubernetes has been a, sort of a valuable guide to everybody in the industry. Well, we're gonna be discussing all of this this Friday on Super Cyber Friday. Here's all the information you need to know.